Tra la la. Here is my battle cry. La la la. Everybody, this is 20 Tiger Dude here, and I'm here to review Captain Underpants, the first epic movie. So, Captain Underpants, the first epic movie, is directed by David Sorin, who actually also directed Turbo. And the film is written by Nicholas Stoller, who's known for writing R rated movies like The Neighbors movies, and he's written family movies like The Muppets and Last Year's Storks. The film has the voice cast of Ed Helms, Kevin Hart, Thomas Middleditch, Nick Kroll, Jordan Peele, and Kristen Schaal. So Captain Underpants tells the story of George and Harold. They are huge pranksters, but of course it gets them in trouble with the school principal and the school principal has been getting so annoyed with them that he's gonna put them in separate classes. So one day George and Harold, they use their hypnotizer ring to hypnotize their principal and this principal is now believed to be Captain Captain Underpants. So going into Captain Underpants, when I heard about them making the movie, I was actually interested, and I'll be honest, I've never read a Captain Underpants book, but I have grown up seeing people actually read them. I remember in middle, even in early high school, I would walk around the hallways, I would see people literally reading Captain Underpants books. It was really huge. But the one trailer that was released, I wasn't too impressed by, but even when I wasn't impressed with the one trailer, I still kept my interest in Captain Underpants because, you know, the idea of a Captain Underpants movie just had me interested. And then you have David Soren who directed Turbo, which I think is a highly underrated DreamWorks animated film. And I really want DreamWorks Animation Studios to have a good animated film here because lately they've been missing. Besides Kung Fu Panda 3, which I did like, The Penguins of Madagascar, Home, Trolls, and The Boss Baby, most certainly The Boss Baby, were missteps from DreamWorks in my opinion. And now that I've seen Captain Underpants, I can definitely say I was not disappointed by this film and it is definitely better than what the trailer is because I'll be honest even though I was interested in this film the trailer wasn't exactly that impressive. Captain Underpants put a huge smile on my face. This movie is honestly the kind of movie I needed and the reason I had so much fun watching this movie is because of these kids, George and Harold. Yes, they're voiced by adults. I know some people have had issues with that. For me personally, that didn't bug me. I really felt like Kevin Hart and Thomas Middleditch, they really fit into their roles. I thought the two of them did a really great job voicing George and Harold. They're such adorable characters and they're not bad kids. Like they pull pranks, yes, but they're not bad kids. They're just kids that just want to have fun and they have have imagination. They imagine these superheroes that they come up with. They imagine Captain Underpants. And it was very realistic to me to be honest because little kids at that age, they can have such imagination to them. They can come up with a made up world and they could just imagine the kind of world they're making. And Captain Underpants does such a wonderful job of doing that. Me being someone that is all about imagination and creating your own, uh, your own world, that's what made me so happy about this film. And that's actually why I love the animated genre because it's all about imagination. It's all about creating your own world. And it was clever too because it would go to different animation styles. Like there's a puppet sequence in this film and I thought it was so clever. It was so funny. And the film would do this thing where it would actually transition once in a while to like hand-drawn styles like you'll see George and Harold show you the Captain Underpants comic book and they'll be flipping over pages. They have this thing called Flipporama. Remember when you would draw pictures on paper and as you're flipping the paper characters would move? Yeah, they do that in this film and it was cool to see some of the hand-drawn stuff in this film because 
We really do not get a lot of hand-drawn anime movies. Now these days it's so rare and it makes me sad. Like, yes, I love my three-dimensional anime movies, but I would love to see some more hand-drawn anime movies too. And it was just honestly a breath of fresh air, even if it's not for that long in this film. And Nicholas Stoller did a really good job writing the screenplay for this film. Like, it's amazing. Nicholas Stoller, really is a talented guy. It's amazing how he can just write R-rated films like the Neighbors movies or Forgetting Sarah Marshall and then he could write a family movie like The Muppets or Storks. I, well, Storks to me was personally just okay, but when it came to the heartwarming things in Storks, that's where his writing definitely shined there. And his writing here for Captain Underpants is definitely very sharp. It's a very witty movie. And yes, this movie does have a lot of potty humor. I mean, the movie's called Captain Underpants, for goodness sakes. You're gonna get that, but for me, the potty humor actually worked. And Captain Underpants, I, I have to say this, he's not in this film that much. The movie is more focused on Harold and George, but the scenes you do get Captain Underpants, they were wonderful. It was such a delight to actually see this character. And I have to say that Ed Helms did a wonderful job voicing this character as both Mr. Krupp slash Captain Underpants. He was just really great. You could tell that he brought so much energy to this character. That same thing goes towards Kevin Hart and Thomas Middleditch as their roles as these kids, but the same thing does go towards Ed Helms. You could tell that he was having a lot of fun voicing. And Nick Kroll, I actually did think, did a very good job as Professor Poopy Pants. I am not joking. That's actually the name of a character. I am not trolling you guys. That's actually the name of the character in Captain Underpants, Professor Poopy Pants, but he actually did do a very good job, and they do poke fun at the fact at how ridiculous the name Professor Poopy Pants is, and we do get into a backstory with Professor Poopy Pants regarding people like making fun of him that I thought was actually very interesting. I did really like that. And Nick Kroll, I could tell, just had so much fun voicing this character. And Jordan Peele, that's right, Jordan Peele. He's actually the voice of this nerd named Melvin. I think his voice definitely really fit for the character of Melvin. And Kristen Schaal, she voices a cafeteria lady that has this crush on Mr. Krupp. And I thought she did a very good job voicing that character. David Soren does such a wonderful job directing this film. Like, he really brought the world of Turbo to life. And that same thing comes here with Captain Un Underpants. I also thought the score for Captain Underpants was really wonderful. It really fit for this world. Even the music choices that you would hear in the film, it definitely fit very well for the film. And I did really find a lot of the humor to be delightful. I was laughing a lot with Captain Underpants. I was laughing so hard. The humor was honestly very consistent with me. But this is also a very heartwarming movie. It's fun. Funny, it's sweet, it's so full of heart. What you need to make just a nice animated movie, Captain Underpants, really does have that. And I have to say, this is the first time I watched a DreamWorks film and I didn't really feel like I was watching a DreamWorks film. Now I'm not saying that in a bad way, I'm saying it because the animation style has the style of the Peanuts movie. Like, it is really similar to that. And that's after the Sarah. Right now the animation is wonderful in Captain Underpants. It's just such a colorful animated movie. This movie has one of the best animations of the year, hands down. I was just loving the animation. I just love the color. I love the energy surrounding these characters. The way the characters would move around, the background designs. Now, now, as far as problems do go with Captain Underpants, I will say that, you know, not every single humor lands. Some of the humor doesn't particularly work for me. I do feel like that Melvin voiced by Jordan Peele, while I didn't really mind the character for the most part, there can be times where I'm getting a little bit annoyed with the Melvin character personally. I also do feel like Professor Poopy Pants. I did really enjoy the character, but I did feel like that he was detracting 
from George and Harold in a few spots, really. The cafeteria lady voiced by Kristen Schaal, she's whatever to me, but anytime she popped up, I just wasn't really caring too much. Obviously, she's there because she serves as this love interest for Mr. Krupp, but I wasn't really caring too much whenever she showed up. And the last issue, I did say it earlier, I did feel like Captain Underpants was underused. Now, it's not too big of an issue because I will say that I love the characters Harold and George so much. I absolutely adore these characters that I was actually fine with Captain Underpants not having that much of the spotlight, but I still do wish, I still did wish that we got to see more of him. Now, I can understand that the reason they may be barely had him here because they didn't want to be repetitive with the whole, oh, George and Harold, they have to go after Captain Underpants and all of that. Like, maybe they didn't want to get repetitive because, you know, in movie length, that does sound repetitive. So it was a smart choice, I will say, if that's what the, the filmmakers were going for. But I do wish that we got to see more of him because, really, you only see Captain Underpants which is like when the kids hypnotize him for the first time. And then after that whole sequence, when they chase around town to get him, he really does not appear again until the climax. So really there's only two major sequences with Captain Underpants. Like there are scenes where Captain Underpants is in the film, but he's not in his outfit. He's really in his principal outfit for the majority of the movie. Overall, Captain Underpants, the first epic movie, is a fun animated movie. It's so delightful. This movie brought so much joy. I love the main characters, Harold and George. Captain Underpants, not in this film that much, but really great seeing him for whenever he does show up. The voice acting is great. The writing by Nicholas Stoller is really sharp. And the direction by David Soren is really nice as well. The animation is so colorful. It's so bright. It's a heartwarming movie. It's a funny movie. It's a sweet movie. It's just the animated movie I definitely need it personally. I'm gonna give Captain Underpants three out of four stars. I really had a lot of fun watching this movie and I definitely do want to rewatch it. So you guys in the comments down below let me know what you think about Captain Underpants the first epic movie. And there's no DreamWorks anime movie for 2018. Their next movie is not until 2019 with How to Trader Dragon 3 but you know what I have this movie to think about at least because man this was such a joy. This is 22 Tiger Dude here and don't forget that I will always have tiger power.